Epidermolysis bullosa and breastfeeding. The benefits of breastfeeding for mother and baby are so well known that it is recommended to exclusively breastfeed for the first six months of life, not only for babies born at the term, but also for premature babies and those with various diseases. Newborn babies with epidermolysis bullosa can be effectively breastfed with many benefits for the nutritional effects of breast milk and the close contact between mother and baby. How to breastfeed? Apply a lubricating oil to the baby's lips and the breast to avoid friction while sucking and to prevent blistering of the mouth. Turn the child's face towards the mother's with the shoulders and bottom well supported by the forearm and the end of the mother so that the neck is slightly extended. Align the child's head to the body so that ear, shoulder and hip are on the same line and the mouth is well centered in front of the nipple. It may be helpful to place a pillow on your knees. Support the breast with your left hand in the C-hold with the four fingers under the breast and the thumb above to facilitate the milk ejection and help the infant more. Latching the baby onto the breast, make sure that 1. The mouth is wide open 2. The lips are turned outwards 3. The tongue is between the breast and the lower lip 4. The chin touches the breast If you are experiencing sore nipples, it might be that the baby is not latched on properly. In this case, insert a finger between the areola skin and the baby's mouth to gently detach it and try again to attach it. If the mother feels that the baby's nose is too close to the breast, she can move the bottom towards her and the nose will automatically move away. Suckling If the baby is latched on properly, after the first faster suckling, the rhythm changes. It becomes slower and deeper in relation to the increased milk flow. The child's cheeks are full, without dimples. And you should listen to the sound of swallowing, an obvious sign that the baby is getting milk. Sucking can last even more than half an hour. Take advantage of this wonderful contact. It is important to observe that the child is latched on properly and that the baby is active when sucking.